As you guys know, Druid and Spike Factory is one of the best late game combinations in Battles 2, but what if you had infinite money with it? That's why we're bringing Druid Spike Factory farm today, and we're going to see how this plays out. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we are bringing back an old strategy that's really good late game, and that is Druid Spike Factory farm, and we're going to Sentai Churchill with it today, so it should be a fun one. Now you may be wondering, Ryan, how do you defend Camel Blooms with the slowdown? That's the whole issue with the slowdown. It struggles a ton of it versus Camel Balloon Rushes, but we do have Sentai Churchill to help us out against Camel Balloons. I'm just going to have to go for an early Spike Bowls as well to defend Camel Balloons, so that'll be the plan here, but I'm going to get my Churchill round one here, which I think I've already kind of misplayed this because I wanted to... To get my Churchill one income boost earlier, especially because I've Jer uh, Druid in my strategy. So, leaking a lot early game is not ideal here, but you know, it is what it is. We still have 69 lives, so we still can get some Druid leaks in. Hopefully. But yeah, I definitely um, should have got my Jer my Sentai Churchill down earlier, so I didn't leak as much as I did, but it is what it is. Opponents going Jericho here as well, which is actually going to complicate things a little bit because. The increased strength of AI balloons will kind of um, ruin my spike factory pile, I've not realized, but, you know, I've got to be able to deal with Jericho if I'm going to try to play a strategy. I've got to be able to deal with Jericho. Jericho is just a little bump in the road here, but we're not going to let it uh, ruin our destination, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Alright. We're going to keep on max eco in here. We'll probably have to go for druids for round 5, white balloons and black balloons. Definitely black balloons. So we'll, de we'll plan on that, but in the meantime, just try to get as good of farms as possible is going to be a nice plan of attack here. A nice plan of attack. We'll send them some pink balloons here. They're upgrading their dartling. Nicely done. Their pink balloons don't seem to be causing any issues on my side here, th thankfully. And we'll get this up to greater production. Do they have farm in their loadout? Because they haven't placed a farm. Actually, I don't even know if this guy has farm. Yeah, we place another farm because I'm greedy. I think they got round two Jericho. Oh no, they got round one Jericho. Oh, I didn't place the farm in time. I'm I'm bad at this game. Okay. They're laughing at me now. Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay, pal. You want to laugh at me now? You want to laugh at me? I'll show you who's boss. I'll show you who's boss, Alex. All right. Let's upgrade this farm once. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my druids down next round though the thing i'll be going for two druids with buff i think two life buff druids is gonna be important because i'm gonna need a bull lightning life buff later so it'll make sense later it'll make sense later i'm going for two life buff druids normally go for one early game but i think with this strategy you need to get two it's part of the part of the process with the strategy okay they got glue gunner down with dartling all right i see you you got my druids down he isn't causing any leaks on my side right now so i'm just gonna keep on farming I'm gonna keep on farming here. I don't really know what my opponent's doing, to be honest, right now. I'm not really too sure. Still need to get my Druid leaks done. They have just full stopped their eco. Alright. Very, very odd, Mr. Alexon. I don't. I don't know what Alexon is doing. I do wanna go for a spike factory, start putting up a pile, but ideally I wanna leak some for these Druids. I think some Camel Bloons are gonna start coming out, so. Yeah, look at this. Okay. Get some Druid Leaks then. And then I'll get my Spike Factory down sometime soon. After I get some Druid Leaks then. What are we at? I still need to leak a little bit more than that, I think. That's not enough. That's not enough for my liking. That's 8. That's 12. That's 16. 20. 24. Okay. Close. I need to get this guy up to uh, Spike Bowls. Alright. We're gonna boost this now. Boost my Spike Factory. Alright. Trust in the process, guys. Trust in the process. It's all part of the plan. This is my camo defense. We've got trust. Okay, they got their HRP up. They got their glue. They got their glue gunner up as well. We're gonna keep on Max Eco in here now. Should have a pretty solid spike pile in the back. And if they do send me a big camo rush, I can use my Sentai level 3 ability too, which is very effective. The Sentai will help out with camo AI too, so can't forget about that. Sentai is definitely going to help out with oh, camo AI. Alright. They're rushing me? Let's 
Sentai 3? Alright, we defend that. Alright, well, um, I guess that's game one. I don't really know what my opponent expected there. My plan for a rerush is if they did send me a rerush, just to show you guys, is we go for a bowl lightning. And the bowl lightning with life buff basically defends any rush you send known to man. Alright, they're dead. I'll catch y'all in the next game. You know, wasn't the most interesting first game, but we kind of got the ropes of things a little bit, learned how we want to play the strategy, so it was an informative match nonetheless. It was an informative match. All right, we actually got star once again, which is fantastic here, because I feel like this is one of the maps where you can kind of run the strategy on. The, st the maps I was thinking to try to do the strategy on was star, sands of time, or, um, or oasis, and obviously star is one of them, so we'll see how this goes. Looks like the opponent's starting with their tax shooter there. I think they brought um, Sintai Churchill as well, so... I'll expect to see that from my opponent at some point. One more eco boost, so I'll get my Sentai Churchill down. As I said before in my previous match, I'm gonna get my Sentai down earlier than I did last game. Just because I didn't like how much I leaked early game last game. So I'm gonna leak a little bit less this time around, which is good. Yeah, they're going tax Sentai Churchill, my opponent is, so I don't really know what Mr. Daydreaming is using here. I've got no clue, no inclination. Alright, minimize leaks here with my Sentai. Perfect. Now, the reason I'm not running Oban with this strategy, I know I'm going to get some questions like, you're going to Druid strategy, why won't you run Oban? The main problem is camo, camo Rushes. I need a hero that's going to help me pop Camo Rushes a lot. And Sentai Churchill is the only hero that I can really think of. I guess Quincy could maybe do well, but Quincy doesn't. Quincy just doesn't do enough damage for me. So I think Sentai Churchill is really the hero to go with this loadout. It's really the hero to go. Okay, they got their Sentai round two there. Let's get my farm down. They're going an Eco strategy here because it's semi group blues. Okay. They're going Eco. With tack. I don't know what their loadout could be, to be honest. Eco tack on this map is interesting. Well, eco tack Sentai Churchill is very interesting. Sometimes you see people go like Tack Lou Village or something, which is a strategy I love to go on this map, but um Tack Lou Village normally runs Gwendolyn or Smudge Cat easily, not Sentai Churchill. So I don't really know what tack eco strategy Mr. Daydreaming will be running with Sentai. I don't really know. In the meantime, we'll just keep on farming though. They built up a tack shooter in a very odd spot. I guess the tax shooter's purpose is probably to pop down black balloon layers for, for the Sentai is my assumption, but again, really weird spot. Really, really weird spot there. All right, we're going to keep on Max Eco and we'll get my second farm here pretty soon. Sending me constant greens, not really a problem. Not really a problem here. Oh, my Churchill's missing a little bit. All right, Churchill, clean up your act. Okay, we actually... All right, I need to get my Druids down now. This is actually a bit of a problem. Last. Get second Druid down. All right, let's try to get my Druid Leaks in now. Try to get my Druid Leaks in. I think that should probably be pretty sufficient. See a decent amount of Leaks coming in. What are we at, 60? I don't know what my, I don't know what my life count was before I got the Druid Leaks in. Maybe Leak a little bit more, just to make sure. All right, that's probably pretty good. Not fit this. Oh, I can fit it right there. Okay. Sentai Churchill ability, we're fine. Done last. Alright, let's build up my spike ball factory now. I really think I need to get the spike ball factory on round nine here. I'm pretty sure I got it too late last time. So what I'm actually gonna do to make sure I get this guy early. Oh, he's sending me rushes now. That complicates things a little bit. First. I'm gonna sell a farm for it. I know it seems really weird selling a farm for, for it, but I need to have this guy producing spikes early. It's Pretty important with my loadout. So we're gonna do that. I need to get the spike pile going as early as humanly possible. These camo balloons are a big issue. And the thing about this loadout is the um, late game is so unbelievably good that sacrificing early to um, just survive is, it's a necessity. And it's not that big of a problem. I got my plantation up still. Attack sniper Churchill on their side, okay. Interesting, I've got to say. Interesting. 
We need to actually get up some defense, though. So we're going to go for a lightning here. And then next round, I'm going to get this up to a valuable nanners, hopefully. Now, I actually probably didn't need to sell the farm in this case because I'm facing an eco strategy, so they don't even have much money to rush me. But if I'm facing a farm strategy, I think selling that farm for the spike bulls is a is a um smart move. But since I'm facing eco strategy here, probably was not honestly a necessity. Okay, we're fine. I don't like it how much my spike pile suffered there. It's probably because I didn't have heart of vengeance on this guy. We'll boost this. All right. They're re rushing me. Have faith in the bowl lightning. The bowl lightning defends. Okay. That's how you defend those rushes. Now, obviously, you could have sent me camo rushes, but camo rushes are extremely expensive, so that's not. That's why I assume they didn't want to send me camo rushes. I'm honestly gonna sell this druid now. I need. I need to start greeting a little bit, and I don't need that other druid. I don't need to keep that other druid around when I have a bowl lightning with life buff. So, selling that druid, I don't think is a dumb decision. It might seem like a dumb decision, like selling a druid, but I don't really need that druid late game, and I need the money to keep it an eco in. And again. Selling the bull lightning is not... I'm not selling the bull lightning. Keeping my farms up is top priority here. Okay, sending me rainbows. Those aren't going to do anything. We're chilling right now. Get in my eco. My eco's not terrible anymore, which is good. My eco's not terrible. Sending me a Moab. Moab's not going to do anything. Send me multiple. Let's get a thorn swarm already. I think this is literally all I need. Just a thorn swarm. I probably don't even need Thornstorm to be honest, but we just got it up to be safe. Yep, look at that. We just defend. The Bull Lightning with the Life Buff is a pretty unbelievably strong upgrade, to be honest. Obviously, the weakness is Purple Balloons, but my Sentai Churchill can deal with Purples pretty well here, so. But yeah, Bull Lightning with Life Buff. Don't sleep on it, guys. Don't sleep on it. They're sending me Fortified Moab. Two Thornstorm Druids. Okay. You sending me multiple. Let's use Churchill level 3 here. This should defend. Yep, we're good. I know what I'm doing, chat. I know what I'm doing. BFB. BFB. I honestly think we have enough defense with B for BFB. Again, we just need to pop down the layers, and the insides are not an issue with this bull lightning on the side. Okay. They're actually sending me some regions. It's going to have a D regrow druid at the start. Oh, it's on, this is on fur strong. That's an actual problem. I didn't realize my stupid druid was on strong. Let's boost. And my Sentai is on fur close as well. Okay, my targeting of stuff is actually unbelievably messed up. Okay, it's gonna be purple balloon eco. We're fine, we're fine. We're fine against these camo balloons. I got spiked mines now. We're good, we're good. All right. Man got super aggressive at me, but we end up on top with the strategy once again. I feel like this strategy kind of baits people into sending you a million rushes because they don't really see it before. But I want to take a late game, so we're going to keep on playing it, and I'm having fun with it, to be to be honest. All right, guys, we are, found another match here on Sands of Time this time, which I think is going to be a better map for us than Star, so I'm excited for this one. We're going to be here, and yeah, we're going to go the same exact strategy as before. They're starting with their Druid here. I know they brought um Oban as well, so... This might be Druid sub farm for my opponent, which would be interesting. That is their loadout. I get my Churchill down here on round one, as always, and we will see how this game plays out. Okay. Try to get my Churchill placement well here. All right. We got it down. Laser bombs primed. We're fine. We're going to leak a little bit round one, but it's not going to be bad, I don't think. It's to the point where I can hopefully get Druid leaks in later. How am I going to make my Churchill stop chasing is the thing. I want to make sure to get my Churchill on last eventually. So I'm going to do some targeting of mic uh, microing of targeting, not targeting of micro. I think hopefully now 
my Churchill should stop chasing, which is the goal. Put this on last, maybe first a little bit. Get my farm down. Yeah, we should be good here. Let's actually move my farmer next to where I have my farm. Perfect. Oh, keep this on last. Oops. I, I kind of messed that up for a second. We're good though. We have it back on last. All right, we're fine. We're fine. First for a shot, last. Yep, we're good. All right, Churchill's not chasing, which is what we want. We don't want our Churchill chasing here. If your Churchill's chasing on this map, guys, it's bad news bears. You can get yourself stuck in really bad situations with that. So we're doing fine. We're doing fine. They got their two Druid start there. They're going Druid Eco here. So that's interesting. I don't know what Druid Eco strategy they could be running. But honestly, Druid Eco is kind of something I want to face here because we have a really good late game with our loadouts. So we can take a late versus Eco strategy. So the good thing about an Eco strategy is that they don't have money to pressure us, right? They can't send big camo rushes at us and get through my defense. So I don't really have to worry about that too much. I don't have to worry about it. All right, round five. Can I spend a Druid here? I can't. Oh, no. I really kind of was relying on that here with my defense. Can't fit a druid there. That's actually kind of bad. Isn't it, Ryan? It looks like this Churchill spot does defend spaced whites, which is something I was curious about. Uh, defends it all right. Not great, but... Okay, we forced their lightning. Both of their druids are chasing, which is not what you want either. You don't want druids chasing or... Sentai. All right, I think we get my second druid right here. I'm gonna have to... Put this guy in last, all right. Okay, we can start getting my druid leaks in now. We can now get my druid leaks in without a worry. Okay, we're at 126 before I get any druid leaks in, so it's good to keep track of that. boost this all right that should be enough druid leaks i think that was 81 if i remember correctly if i'm counting correctly pretty sure it's 81 leaks let's get my spike factory down all right we're doing fine uh keep us on smart actually we're smart no smart actually is not what i want close put on close okay they got a mortar down nicely done you want to save up for the spiked bowls here Spiked bowls is what we're looking for. They say I've got the spikiest bowls around. Today we're here to prove it, chat. Okay, they got a mortar down as well. So they're going druid mortar, probably druid mortar, um, spike factory to be honest. So we're both going druid spike factory, but the difference is I have farm and they don't. So I'll have a lot more money than them late game, which is really good for us. If we survive late game's the thing. If we survive till then. I'll have a really nice money advantage. All right, let's upgrade that to druid's wrath. Hard thorns. We're doing fine here. I'm starting to build up a nice spike pile on the back too, which is what I love. We're good against their eco. The thing is, we want to make sure we go for enough druid upgrades where their normal eco balloons and stuff don't eat up my spike pile. Because keeping the spike pile healthy is one of my top priorities here. So, do I need lightning on this guy? I don't think I do yet. I think we're fine at the moment. Uh... I probably should get lightning on him, to be honest. Yeah, lightning on it was some, would have been a smart decision to do earlier. I right, got my plantation up, though. Perfect. We'll cross path the plantation here pretty soon as well. Our spike pile should be pretty big. Right, look at this. My spike factory only has 135 pops here, so it has not been used much, which is great. Which means we've been keeping the pile pretty healthy for us. And again, um, as I showed in the game too, the purpose of this druid is to be a life buff bowl lightning. If he does send me a bunch of rushes, the bowl light, life buff bowl lightning is very strong. And it'll be a super storm life buff late game. But you do need to get a second life buff druid because if you don't have a life buff bowl lightning, you'll die to um, regular balloon rushes after your boost and Sentai 3 are both exhausted. So yeah, that's the purpose of that. That is the purpose of that. In the meantime, let's continue Econ. My eco's not bad, and my farms aren't bad. We're actually in a pretty good financial state here, surprisingly. We're doing fine here. And the nice part about this strategy over Druid Sub Farm, for example, is that DDTs are not an issue at all here, because Spike Factory is one of the best DDT defenders in the entire game. It is one of the best DDT defenders in the entire match game here, so... 
no need to worry about the DT balloons. Probably go to like 2k eco would be my plan. 2k eco and then we'll simmer down with it. Okay, looks like these balloons are starting to be a little bit pesky as well. So let's actually get up a lightning on this back druid. Which will be a bowl lightning later, obviously. But you have to get a lightning first before you can get a bowl lightning. You know what I'm saying, chat? You know what I'm saying? Okay, round 18. Still no rush for my opponent. They're just playing full passive here. I hope they realize if they have spike factory as their third, they're going to lose late game. Because I'm going to have just a huge money advantage on them. And mortar doesn't really do anything for them late game. It's basically just druid and spike factory defending late game. So I'm not sure if they realize that yet, but they'll have a rude awakening late game. All right, we're going to start saving up for my uh, banana research facility for round 20. Relax and save up for it. Hands behind the head, you know what I'm saying, guys? Show off the biceps. My amazing sized biceps. And yeah. If I can't afford my beer up for round 20, I can honestly sell my spike factory and just build it back up. It's not a bad decision. Which might have to be the play here. All right, we should be fine against this Moab. Sentai Churchill helps me out a little bit. Against AI this round, I think I'm going to go for a Sentai ability. Because AI in this round is a little bit scary. And I don't want to... I don't want to be burning too much spikes here. So, Sentai ability is not a bad... Not a bad idea to use here. Alright, 2100 eco. I said 2000, but I went 2100 because I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I can't help it. I can't help it, chat. Alright, they're starting to build up their Druid farms. Nicely done. I'm going to get this up to a Central Market here pretty soon. I think I'm honestly not going to go for Monkey Wall Street. I think I'm just going to skip Monkey Wall Street and go straight for Banana Central here. I feel like I feel like that's the play of this game. I do. Okay, my spike pile is starting to take a little bit of a beating. I don't like that. Let's get Druid of the Storm on this. Help me out a little bit with these AI balloons. Go for one more marketplace. Alright, Camo AI. The Camo AI is not very strong, though, so I should be able to just defend this with my Churchill pretty well. Now, if he does send me, like, a really big Camo Rush, what I can do is boost in Sentai 3, which will defend pretty much all the Camo Balloons. If he continues to send, I can go for a Clutch Spirit of the Forest. And I'm talking if he sends me, like, all of his money's worth of Camo Balloons. Spirit of the Forest will defend it, so that is, like, my last-ditch effort. I should get a Spirit of the Forest up, and that defends the Camo Balloons. How much do you sell for? Like 33k, so I need like 33k on hand, roughly. So forward, all right. Shouldn't be much of a problem. We are stolen the rounds on our side, but my opponent's anti-stalling, so it's honestly kind of fine if I stole because these rounds are still short, which we want the rounds short when we're against an eco player here. Let's actually just use Sentai ability here. Yeah, one. There we go. Got the banana central up. Perfect. I don't want to build this to a spiked mines here just to play it safe with everything. I feel like spiked mines, I have that going. I'll feel pretty comfortable if Moabs hit my spike pile and if there's some camo AI, I'm not going to have to worry about it too much. It's the idea. Alright, they have stopped ecoing. Round 26. Makes sense. They have spike factory. Okay. Makes sense as well. We should have the big late game advantage here, as I said earlier. We're going to have a lot more money than them with farm than they'll have with um without farm. And in case he sends me a camo, a regrowth ceramic rush, I'm going to get up a little heart of oak with a heart of thunder right here. You can't really see it. It's kind of, my camera's kind of blocking it, but that will basically de-regrow a regrowth ceramic rush pretty well for me. So it will become a normal ceramic rush instead of a regrowth ceramic rush, which is a lot easier to defend. They've got a decent amount of druid farms, but again... I have the banana farm, which makes a lot more money than druid farm, so. We should be able to take take it home with this one. If everything goes to plan. Now, if he sends me a BAD, what is my plan? Or a fortified BAD? Um, if they send me a fortified BAD or BAD, probably just get up carpet of spikes and then get up a late super storm. Carpet of spikes, I'm pretty sure was solo fortified BAD layer. And then my super storm can clean up the insides, of course. So that would be the plan if they do send me that rush. Let's actually start saving. Let's actually go for Monkey Wall Street here, and then I'll have pretty adequate farms for what I want. Where do I want to put super mines on this map? 
I'm trying to think. Maybe right here is a good supermine spot. Because I think the supermine's explosion, if put right here, will hit the pretty much the entire triangle. Which is good. I want my supermines to be hitting as much area as possible with the explosion radius. So, I think that's the next thing I want to save up for, the supermines. Because going for like the super storm and stuff, even though it is important for defense, you want to have the supermines before they rush you, right? You want to have supermines before they rush you. Well, that other stuff you can get up, you can get it up during the rush and not really have much complications there. So that's my thought process. He's still ecoing here, which is actually a bit of a bad sign because that leads me to believe he's not going to rush me, which they do need to rush me here or else. Well, actually, I guess they don't need to rush me. I could take a pass around 40 and just get lives back with Spear of the Forest if it comes down to it. All right, got my super mines up because I got a little scared that I died to AI. We're good, though. Yeah, I guess I don't really need life buff on my druids anymore, right? Because I guess life buff on Superstorm is important, but if if he wants to take it past round 40, be my guest. Be my guest, bro. We got my super mines up, which is good. A bit of lag going on. My opponent's on two bars, so that's not a great sign, but I mean, it is what it is. Something I kind of want to get up in the back here, actually, now I think about it is a perma spike because the perma spike can actually pop down a bad layer with um a pretty much max pile which is really good and the reason that's good is because my super storm can clean up the insides because my super storm's right next to it so it's a pretty nice safety thing to have in the back for me all right we're gonna start regenerating lives they are actually regenerating lives on their side as well i just noticed so we're gonna start regenerating lives if we really want to take it this late, bro, we might as well go all in with the farms, you know what I'm saying? I definitely should have gone for more eco here, don't get me wrong. Um, I thought he would rush me, but I need to get the content for you guys, so... I'll play into his hand. I'll play into his hand here. Alright, me and my opponent are now both above the 150 um, life count, so we can go past round 40. It might not be the smartest decision for me to take this long, because my opponent might actually have a money advantage on me now, because I didn't go for any extra eco. Um, if I went for more eco, it would have been it would have been really smart for me to go for more eco, but now it's just too late. So we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna see how it goes. But um, I don't know. Round fifty, here we come, I guess, because I'm not gonna rush them until they rush me, or I won't rush them till round fifty. So yeah, round fifty, here we come. This will be an interesting one. We just got round. We just got my level twenty Sintai Churchill, guys. I think we literally just got it. Unless I'm, unless I'm tweaking out, because I heard him make a noise, and it's round forty-two. Does it take forty-two rounds to get level twenty Sintai Churchill? Does it really take that long? It might. <laughs> it might actually take that long. Uh, I don't know what at what point I want to sell my farms for just a much uh, full map of spike storms. Probably some point soon, because I'm gonna want to have my defense pre-placed, but I also want to get as much juice out of my farms as possible. So, I've got to think about that very carefully when I want to sell my farms for spike factories. Just a bunch of spike storms would be the plan. I still have two boosts left, which is great as well. Yeah, we're sending them. They're sending me. Keep sending them, keep sending them. Come on. Did we win? Don't pop, don't pop, don't pop. Oh, 
<laughs> Dude, round 46 B80s are unbelievably strong. I didn't think he was going to send me that early. So I didn't fill up the whole map with spike storms yet. I definitely should have been more prepared. And I think I could have defended a couple more. But, oh man. That just shows that, like, Spike Factory is really strong. But it, it definitely gets overrun super late game. But that was a fun match nonetheless. Hope you guys enjoyed the strategy of Druid, Spike Factory, and Farm. Let me know your thoughts down below if you want to see this in future videos. Run like out. Peace, lads.